Let's start with chapter 10 care and maintenance of fabric. Aids for laundering. When we are washing the clothes, removing the stain, making the clothes more shinier, brighter, removing the dust, what all we require? We require cleansers and auxiliary aids. Cleansers are the basic aids like soap is there, detergent is there. Detergents are also called syndets. Auxiliaries are besides cleansers, we require stain removal reagent, we require bleaches to bring shine and whiteness, bluing agent is there, stiffening agent in the clothes. Stain removal reagent includes, they may be acidic, they may be alkali. Acidic example, acetic acid commonly found in your home, lemon, vinegar, alkali, ammonia, baking soda, grease solvents like petrol, carbon tetrachloride CCL4 methylated spirit grease absorbent again commonly found in our home talcum powder and fuller's earth what are bleaches bleaches are the chemicals which we use to bring shine in a cloth whiteness there are oxidizing bleaches there are reducing bleaches oxidizing bleaches where the oxygen is liberated sunlight Javel water like sodium hypochlorite is an example. Reducing bleaches where we remove the oxygen from the stain like sodium bisulfite is there. Oxidizing bleaches they work better and faster as compared to the reducing bleaches. Stiffening agents are there like starch. We add arrowroot in the water. Mix well. If any lump is there, we should stain it and remove. Borex can be added to remove extra starch which is stick to your garment. Article should be made wet and then dipped in starch solution. So these are the steps which should be taken into consideration while starching a garment. Bluing. How to blue that? A teaspoon of blue is tied in a muslin cloth. Water is stirred well. Article is opened, made wet and then dipped in the solution. If article is excessively blue, then it should be dipped in the water with a few drops of vinegar. Cleansing agents. There are soapy detergents. There are soapless detergents like syndates. Soapy detergents are commonly called soaps. They are obtained by mixing natural oil and waxes. They are cheap and environmental friendly. Soapless detergents. They are also called synthetic detergents. They are made up of hydrocarbon chains. They are ex expensive and non-environment friendly. Advantages of using detergents, though they are non-environment friendly, but still we use detergents. Why? Because so they are made up of wax or animal fat or vegetable fat is there, which clogs the drains. Another thing is soaps are not successful in hard water. They get stick to the cloth and bring yellow patches on the cloth if we wash our cloth again and again with the soap but detergents they are fabric cleaner and brighter they are readily dissolve in water they have low surface tension of water hence they can be used in hard water as well as in soft water they don't clog the drains they are easily removed from the clothes how to choose a good laundry soap it should be readily soluble in water. It should not contain more than 30% of water. It should be firm. It should be free from resins. It should not have any crystals on it. Means excess of alkali. Stains. There are types of stains like animal stains. Example blood, milk, egg, grease like oil, boot polish, ghee, dye, color and paints, minerals, rust, vegetables, juice, curry, fruits, tea, coffee, etc. How to identify a stain? Identify it by its color, feel or smell. Color. Example, tea and coffee, when spilled on cloth, they give brown color. Curry gives yellow color. Smell. Boot polish, egg paints, egg paints have a peculiar smell. Touch. When milk is spilt on the fabric, it becomes stiff, slippery. Grease and shoe polish give a slippery touch to the cloth. Rules to remove known stains. 
Stain should be removed when fresh. Nature of stain should be identified either by smell, color, touch. Correct chemicals should be used. Stain removal process should be simple to complex. Means to say we are going to wash with cold water, then hot water, then we use uh, soaps or detergents. Acid reagent should be neutralized by alkali and alkali should be neutralized by acid. This we have shown water, detergent, mild chemical, last bleach should be used. Diluted chemicals should be used otherwise they are going to harm the cloth. Stain should be worked in a circular motion from outer to inner portion from the back side of the garment so that it is not going to spread. Rules for removing unknown stains. Always remove the stain when it is fresh. Soak it in a plain cold water and then in a warm soapy water. Bleach the article in sunlight. Then we treat with dilute alkaline and then dilute acidic reagent. We use oxidizing bleach and then reducing bleach. We keep repeating the steps if the stain persists and then rinse all the chemicals properly. Storing of garment. General rules when we store the garment it should be as per fibers. The clothes should be aired and brushed. They should be mended before storing. Dirty clothes should be washed and dried otherwise moth will attack. Buttons and zips should be closed. They should be kept in airtight boxes which is sprayed with insect repellent. Storage of clothes as per fiber. Various insect and repellents are used. Example, insect repellents like camphor, naphthalene balls, dried neem leaves, cedar chips. Dichlorobenzene is the best repellent. Storage of cotton and rayon. Now according to the fiber, insect like silverfish can attack the starched cotton. So the cotton should be always de-starched before storing. Clark articles should be properly dried and no humidity. Otherwise they are attacked by mildew. Storage of wool and silk which are the costly fibers. Articles if required should be hung on rust proof hangers. Especially the wool. Use naphthalene balls. A woolen article should be wrapped in newspapers and no food stains should be there. Storage of silk. We always de-gum the article before storing. No perspiration signs. Article should never be folded immediately after being worn so it should be aired. Silk should be wrapped in muslin cloth to protect from the light. And its folds should be refolded after some time. While when we store the synthetic cloths, they should be washed and dried properly. We use dried neem leaves to store them in closed tight boxes in which newspapers are spreaded. With this we have finished our chapter. Take good care of yourself.